Meanwhile, Israel's defense minister calls the killing of 24 Israeli soldiers a heavy blow to the military, but vows the fight against the terrorist group Hamas will go on. Meanwhile, America and its allies are fighting the Houthis, a group of rebels against Yemen's government, who are attacking commerce ships in the Red Sea. CBS's Tina Krauss shares more. The loss of 24 soldiers marks Israel's deadliest day of the ground war against Hamas, as the Israeli government faces growing pressure to find an end to the conflict. I am sick that we're losing these wonderful young men. We need them alive in Israel. Israeli forces surrounded Gaza's southern city of Khan Yunis Tuesday for a major assault just hours after Palestinian militants took out their troops. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to press ahead toward absolute victory. But Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry says Palestinian civilians are paying the price for Israel's bombardment. And World Food Program officials say much of the territory is at risk of starvation. We have called for uh, an immediate humanitarian pause so we can get aid in, we can get hostages out. Israelis are divided over whether it's possible to destroy Hamas and rescue more than 100 hostages still held in Gaza. This woman's husband is one of the captives. She says, I can't breathe. It's been almost four months and they are still there. With growing fears of a wider war in the region, overnight the U.S. bombed Houthi rebel targets in Yemen to stop militants from targeting shipping in the Red Sea. The attacks came after the deaths of two U.S. Navy SEALs lost at sea in a raid to seize Iranian weapons bound for Yemen. Tina Krauss, CBS News, London. Israel's military says 21 soldiers were killed on Monday when they were preparing explosives to demolish two buildings and Hamas fired at a nearby tank causing a deadly blast. Earlier, three soldiers were killed in a separate attack.